Remner may be home from the hospital, but has a long recovery road ahead of him, according to a close friend. The 52-year-old actor revealed in a tweet on Monday that he's been discharged and was able to watch the season two premiere of his Paramount Plus show, Mayor of Kingstown, quote, with my family at home, tweeting, outside my brain fog in recovery. I was very excited to watch episode 201 with my family at home. On New Year's Day, Jeremy's rep confirmed to NBC News that the tag actor had been hospitalized after, quote, experiencing a weather-related accident while plowing snow. The following day, his rep updated the outlet, saying that the actor underwent surgery after suffering, quote, blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries, and added that Jeremy remained in the intensive care unit in critical but stable condition. However, Jeremy's friends now say that his injuries are much worse than what was led on, with a close source telling Radar Online, it's much worse than anyone knows. Jeremy is very aware of the fact that he almost died out there. The right side of Jeremy's chest was crushed and his upper torso had collapsed. He also had a bad head wound that was bleeding and a leg injury. The Hawkeye actor is reportedly aware of the long road to recovery ahead of him, with friends saying it could take up to two years before he's back in shape, with the source adding, Jeremy was in a lot of pain and was having difficulty breathing. He knew he was in bad shape and that he might not make it out of this. Word is the damage to Jeremy's chest was so substantial it had to be reconstructed in surgery. So far, he's had two surgeries and we will likely require more in the weeks ahead on his leg. Doctors tend to space out operations to allow time for the body's natural healing process to kick in. And that's the case here. Jeremy may be in the hospital, but he's keeping his fans updated via his social media. On Monday, the 52-year-old actor shared a photo to his Instagram story, showcasing a snowy scene at his Nevada home. Writing above the photo, missing my happy place. Jeremy also posted another pic to his Instagram story of a snow-covered path and warning travelers, skiers, and snowboarders about how difficult and snowy it is and to be careful. Writing, it's a rough ride over the pass. Be safe out there, Reno and Tahoe. The mayor of Kingstown actor gave his first update to fans on January 3rd by posting a hospital bed selfie to Instagram and thanking well-wishers for their support. Captioning the post, thank you all for your kind words. I'm too messed up now to type, but I send love to you all. Following Jeremy's accident, the Washu County Sheriff's Office held a press conference sharing more details on the incident. He was speaking to the first responders. Mr. Renner went to retrieve his piston bully or snow cat, an extremely large piece of snow removal equipment weighing at least 14,000 330 pounds. According to the Washoe County Sheriff's Department, a family member of Renner's was driving Jeremy's car when he got stuck in the snow. After helping him, the snow cat began to roll on its own. In an effort to stop the rolling piston bully, Mr. Renner attempts to get back into the driver's seat of the piston bully. Based on our investigation, it's at this point that Mr. Renner is run over by the piston bully. An eyewitness detailed seeing Mr. Renner getting into the piston bully and not seeing him again until the piston bully came to arrest in a pile of snow in front of his driveway. It's a beautiful morning walk.